Hello guys, can the Terminator franchise be saved at any point? We don't know. We're about to find out if the Terminator franchise can be saved. Terminator Dark Fate review, so here we go. The Terminator franchise has always been about trying to maintain hope for humanity's future in the face of relentless mechanized onslaught, as personified by the titular cyborg assassins. The latest sequel slash reboot, Terminator Dark Fate, embraces that notion as it steers the series into a new direction with an exciting, action-packed, and often humorous reset that recaptures the spirit and pacing of the first two James Cameron entries, and it's the best Terminator film since Judgment Day. What makes Terminator? They said that this is the best Terminator since Terminator 2. I don't think I should go see this now. Dark Fate succeed where Rise of the Machines, Salvation, and Genesis failed is that it knows that A, less is more when it comes to Arnold as the T-800, and B, the first two films worked because they were really about Sarah Connor. Dark Fate brings back Linda Hamilton as an older, grizzled, and very broken Sarah Connor, and that is the smartest thing the film did to ensure it creatively succeeds where the last three Terminator franchise resets failed. Both Linda Hamilton and Arnold Schwarzenegger still exude all the charisma and badassery we came to love about their characterizations decades ago. The passage of time, however, has only added gravitas to their screen personas. Hamilton in particular amazes here as the shell of a woman Sarah once was. I'll be back. Not unlike Jamie Lee Curtis in 2018's Halloween, Hamilton's return as Sarah Connor lends this film a validity and dramatic weight that subsequent T2 follow-ups lacked. She once again commands our attention, respect, and sympathy from the moment we see her back on screen. Sarah knows something will go wrong at some point and is ready to meet it with any lethal means at her disposal. But Sarah Connor is only one facet of Terminator Dark Fate. Arnold Schwarzenegger also returns here as yet another T-800. Without giving away any spoilers, it can be revealed that Dark Fate explores the human-Terminator dynamic without undermining the inherent tension in that relationship. That said, the film finds a way to explain the age of Schwarzenegger's character while also adeptly mining that premise for fun and humor. Director Tim Miller's exciting and breathlessly paced film succeeds in introducing new protagonists for us to cling to, namely Natalia Reyes' Danny Ramos and Mackenzie Davis' Grace. Reyes is basically the film's answer to the 1984 original Sarah Connor, but with some key deviations. While Davis' cybernetically augmented super soldier is sort of the Kyle Reese equivalent as her selfless protector. Both actresses shine in their dramatic and action scenes. Reyes in particular hasn't been at the forefront of pre-release press for this film, but she nearly steals the show. Mackenzie Davis also delivers a great action heroine turn here, kicking lots of ass yet never losing sight of the human emotional core driving her character. Gabriel Luna is this film's Robert Patrick T-1000, finding those deviously human moments to hide his murderous Rev 9's facade behind All I'm thinking is a good IGN review for once. Behind even as he inflicts nothing but pain and chaos on everyone around him. Outside of the twinning effect his Rev-9 can perform, he doesn't necessarily do anything we haven't seen in the franchise before, but Luna's villain's resourcefulness and relentlessness amply fuel the film's tension. These new and returning characters help lend the film's many thrilling action set pieces an emotional authenticity and heft lacking in the last few sequels. When a Terminator tries to kill someone here, you care and aren't just going through the motions. The visual effects, coupled with the actors' performances, lend these scenes the same sort of tactility and genuine danger the first two films mastered. While none of the Terminator sequels have topped the T-1000's visual effects ingenuity and cunning as an antagonist, Dark Fate still makes the Rev-9 a close second. Why not just let me have her? Because we're not machines, you metal mother. Terminator Dark Fate largely succeeds where the last three installments have failed to make the franchise creatively and commercially viable. Despite Sarah Connor's previous sacrifices, humanity's fate is once again at stake, and with it, the future of the Terminator franchise itself. The film deftly builds upon what worked in the first two James Cameron-helmed entities while bringing in a new host of characters and circumstances to challenge the course of humankind. Though it never outdoes what Cameron did with the original two Terminator films, Terminator Dark Fate ultimately succeeds in serving as both a suitable closing chapter for the first two films and a possible gateway to exciting new chapters ahead. That's good. At least they say that it's a good movie. So it's a good movie. It didn't have 
Uh, I'll check it out. I don't trust IGN reviews. Because they'll take a game that's... They'll say uh, there's a game that's good as, and, and, and say it's bad. So I don't know. Might check it out.